Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. This article that I have here for this video is a great example to show how this country here has uh, neo-Marxism, post-modernism uh, infiltrated not only in the edu in education, in the you know schools, but in the mass media as well. And not only they try to uh, push that onto us, so we are uh, losing some instincts. So let's see what this article is about to say, and then we can talk about it. This article is from Ukrainska Pravda from October 25th, 2022. Russian universities, remember this is from a Ukrainian source. Russian universities will be forced to offer a class about, quote unquote, Russia's great future. Okay, that's a problem. If it's a problem because they force them, it's a problem the title Russia's great future if it's if it's the title then what would be the alternative Russia's fucked up future why would they want to do that why would you want to do that to your society now forced we can talk about that one let's keep reading a course analogous to an quote unquote ideological discipline may soon appear in Russian universities during which students will be taught about the successes of Russia and the decline of the West. Uh, you're supposed to uh, talk about your country and your family in those kind of terms because that's how you build uh, patriotism, cohesion. If you don't talk, you're gonna have here, like here. Pretty soon it's gonna be a uh, beautiful civil war. Now, regarding the other issue here, we'll be taught about the decline of the West. Is that a fact? Is that a fact that the West is declining? I think it is. Not only economically, militarily, and most of all, socially, culturally. That's what it is. And that's what they're going to teach. Cultural decline. Um, how do you call that? Perversion? That's what we're going to talk about. It. These guys are uh, going to talk about certain things that are degrading. Which is a good thing, because you have to uh, learn from other people's mistakes, or other countries' mistakes, other cultures' mistakes, and try not to do it, avoid it. Now, Latvia-based Russian media outlet Medusa, citing which its own sources close the Kremlin. All right. According to Medusa sources, the development of the new course is overseen by the Kremlin's internal political bloc. I think Putin is working at it right now. Kremlin internal, yeah, okay, headed by Sergei Kirilenko and the first deputy chief of staff of the presidential administration of Russia, who also runs the Znanye Knowledge Society, which will develop the curse, the course, curse, course. It is, it is expected that the new subject will appear in university as early as next academic year. According to the Kremlin's plan, non-humanities majors will study it for one year while those in humanities majors will do so for several years. History and political science majors will do so for their entire period of study. According to Medusa sources, the ideological course will be divided into four units, the main historical unit, the cultural code unit, and the Russia in the world unit, and the picture of the future unit. The exact content of uh, the units is still unknown, but all the likely overseas are as loyal as possible to the current government of Russia. Well, I didn't hear Putin, I heard about Russia. So, yeah, okay. I heard about Russia, Great Russia, Future Russia, Bad, uh, those guys. I didn't hear Putin. Quote, one of the sources close to the Kremlin described the content of the new ideological studies subject as follows. The West is declining, it is constantly interfering with Russia, but its times has passed. We have a great future, a rich history and culture. We must use the moment of crisis and get everything from it. Put this in another, in another, to another country and say, well, there are some mistakes in other parts of the world that we see them as mistakes. And we're going to teach however we see it. I am not going to teach it however you want me to see it. This is what's going on here. 
Now, um, what do they want to be taught instead? I tell you. You know how I know? Because I'm here and I watch TV sometimes. Not TV. Uh, certain uh, shows with, uh, where I need to watch to get my information and keep the pulse on the garbage. I know from school's curriculum what they require over there. And not only. I know what kind of garbage is pushed. So, they want to teach these guys not to love your country. They want to teach your country as being a sinful country. They want to tell you that you should be ashamed of your culture. Uh, they want to point out that other groups are better than your group because you have the original sin that they determined is the original sin only for you. Uh, there are other idea, ideas where they try to promote non-values versus your values because they want to change your uh, uh, fabric of your society and you let them do that. Is this what they want to teach? Yes, they want to teach that you should hate your country, your culture, your group, your family, your values. Can you see? They, let's say with the masculinity, toxic masculinity. They got that. So you can't be masculine because that's equal to toxic. They don't say, well, it's good to be masculine. No, that's like aggressivity. Stop doing that. Family. Patriarchal. Patriarchal uh, family. You can't be. You can't be. No family because the man is going to lead. No, none of you. And besides, we're going to have time. Like, you're going to have uh, an hour with the kids, and it's my time, another hour, and then you another hour. We make it uh, equitable. Okay? Uh, you breastfeed, and then you give it to me, and I breastfeed, and it will go from there. Okay? Because we are, have the same, the same duties in a family. You breastfeed, I breastfeed. Uh, it's uh, really, really... Uh, and this postmodernistic ideology comes from the Frankfurt School. Frankfurt School, if you do not, are not familiar with the subject, please look into it. But don't look into it like, oh, some professor just immigrated because they were afraid of the Nazis. When you hear that, you know exactly what the professors were. And you say, okay, what was the Frankfurt School? And you're going to find all those guys were almost all of the same kind. And they had all the same ideas, right? With deconstruction theory, that's one of them, right? And then everything has the same value, you know, nothing is better than other. But when you say that, you obviously say that what you say is better than what other people say. Anyway, it's, uh, it's just like that. And it impregnated how they immigrated here. They found jobs in universities just like that, just like that. And then they became pushed forward and they had students and the students became this and they became that. And this is what happens. No, we're going to have what Plato said in the Republic. He said, censor, censorship is necessary for a state because you can't allow this kind of people to destroy your society. So you will not let this go, but you will promote your values. And the other values that you do not see as being positive for your country, you don't teach them. You don't support them. Plato, was he a Nazi? Well, he said many things uh, uh, like uh, he was a very promoter of uh, eugenics. Why? Because look how they uh, bred, for instance, uh, you know, uh, horses. They bred uh, all kind of uh, chicken to make it good for this, good for that. They knew only in humans you can't apply the same things with, uh, you know, putting together is going to resolve this, putting... Uh, look at the dogs. Each dog was bred in a certain way to have certain kind of traits. Only with humans. You can't discuss that. Somehow we are not uh, animals anymore. So anyway, not getting into that too much. I think each country does its own thing. And I think that you should love your country. You should look at its positives. You should ignore the negatives unless you learn from them, but you're not going to destroy your country because things that other people have done. And never, never let other people, other people tell you 
your culture how it is and how to change never and that's happening here please pay attention thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just